In this lesson, we are going to look at how to do quadratic equations. Now, first of all, what is a quadratic equation? Let me first show you what is not a quadratic equation. This over here is a normal equation that you would have seen in probably grade 6, 7, 8, 9, where we just have x's. Now, if I add an x to the power of 2, then all of a sudden, it is called a quadratic equation. And when we have a quadratic equation, you have to solve it completely differently or in a complete different way to normal equations. But be careful, sometimes it looks like a quadratic equation, but it actually is not. Let me show you an example. What would happen here if we had to take, for example, this x squared over to the left hand side, is that you would end up with something like 4 plus x squared minus x squared equals to 3x, and these x squares would cancel out. So what looked like a quadratic equation in the beginning actually turned out to be a normal equation. So we will only say that it is a quadratic equation if there is an x squared that does not cancel out with another x squared. Here is another example of a quadratic equation. I'm now going to show you how to solve a quadratic equation. So what you do, let's say we have an example like this. All right, so there we have a quadratic equation because it's got that x squared that we spoke about. Step one, move everything to one side. So for example, this nine, we're gonna move over to the left. So it's gonna become x squared minus eight x minus nine equals to zero. When you see the zero, that's a good thing. You want the zero on the left or the right. It doesn't really matter but you do want that zero. Once you have the zero, then you're gonna factorize. Now there are many different ways that you could be asked to factorize. We know that there is difference of squares, common factors, trinomials. So look out to see which type of factorizing you need to do. If you're quite good with your factorizing, you would know that this over here is a trinomial. So we would have to factorize it as a trinomial. So we'll have two brackets and it would be x minus 9 and x plus 1. What you now do when you've got these brackets is you say x minus 9 must be equal to 0 or x plus 1 must be equal to 0 and then you go and you solve each of those. So this one here would be that x equals to 9 or and this one would say that x is equal to minus 1. Now we are going to have a look at four examples. For the first example, we know that it's quadratic because it's got that x squared and it's not going to cancel out. So remember, step one, get everything to one side. So I'm going to say x squared minus 3x. I'm going to bring the 4 over. There we go. Now I've got the 0. The 0 is good. What we now do is we factorize. This is a trinomial. So it's going to be x minus 4 and x plus 1. I then say x minus 4 is equal to 0 or x plus 1 is equal to 0. This then gives me x is equal to 4 or x is equal to negative 1. Here's number 2. We already have the 0 so that's step 1 complete. Now we factorize. Remember it's not always going to be a trinomial. This is actually a difference of squares. So we open up two brackets where it'll be x minus 2 and x plus 2. Remember, that's how difference of squares work. And so we're going to end up with x is equal to 2 or x is equal to negative 2. Actually, I skipped a step there. I do apologize. I should say to be more or the more structured approach is to say x minus 2 is equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 0. You then see that x is equal to 2 or x is equal to negative 2. In question three, we've already got the zero, so then we can factorize. This over here is a trinomial, so we open up our two brackets, and we get x minus eight, x plus one. We then say x minus eight is equal to zero, or x plus one is equal to zero. This then means that x is equal to eight, or x is equal to negative one. And our last example, this is definitely quadratic because it's got this x squared. So what we do is we make the zero first. So we take everything to the one side, like that. Then we factorize. But now some of you at home are saying, Kevin, what type of factorizing is this? It's not a trinomial. It can't be a difference of squares. Ah, but guys, this is actually a common factor. You can take out an x. So if you take out an x, you would be left with x minus 3 in the bracket. Now what you do 
is pretend that this one is its own little bracket. So then you can say x is equal to 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0. And so this one already is simplified. So we'll just say x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 